If you're not sure what a worn out distributor cap and rotor looks like, I'm going to show you a distributor cap and rotor from a 1999 Honda Civic. I'm almost ashamed to admit this, but it has 106,000 miles on it. I bought the car from my mom and have all the service records, and I am confident that these are the original OEM parts. Here's the new cap. Notice that the terminals are shiny and clean and uniformly colored. I monitor how many miles I get from a tank of gas. When my gas mileage started to drop off, the first place to look was the ignition system. It's a good idea to track your mileage. You'll get a heads up when something is failing. Uh, be aware that some areas of the country switch to a winter blend of gas. I live in Pennsylvania. When the gas gets switched to winter blend, I get about a tenth less mileage. So instead of about 330 miles per tank, I get about 300. So don't mistake that for a problem with your ignition system. And here's an up close of the old and new rotor. The new rotor is on the bottom. You can see the old one on top has burn marks on it. Here's a close up of the old rotor. The voltage from the coil goes to the center button on the distributor cap. The voltage is transferred to the rotor on this contact. And then the rotor spins and transfers the voltage to the spark plugs. Notice the carbon buildup on the rotor contact. Here's the old cap. If you look where the arrow's pointing, you can see it's a little discolored. The surface is rough and some of the contact is eroded away. Here's a quick look at the new cap for comparison. Check out the contact for the rotor. It's shorter, it has carbon on it. I think the important thing to learn is that you probably don't have to change your cap and rotor out at 30,000 miles. If you track your gas mileage and you see it drop off, then that's a good time to check out your ignition system. If you've enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. And thanks for watching.